All right, guys. Jesus bless this message in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Now you guys know I I, I am a spiritual war, warfare fighter, man. Oh, baby. And you want to know what else? I was writing this book long before I got saved. Long, long, maybe fifteen years. I don't remember before I got saved. Long time. And it was about this these teenage witches. They had a lot of witchcraft in the book whole lot of witchcraft and spells and incantations and all that stuff. And I, then I laid it down for about seven years and didn't write no more in it. And then I picked it back up and about seven years later, and, uh, excuse me, and um, I was not saved yet, but I, I just wanted to finish that book. So it started going really weird. I was like, wait a minute, where's this book going to? Because it started going to Jesus. Uh, the, the little witch gave her life to Jesus. She realized all the power was in the word. Um, she gave up her. It, it was just a trip, y'all. And I was like, oh, my, what's happening to my book, man? Wait, wait a minute. It, it just happened. It just happened. So it ended up giving God glory. It really did, which was a trip. And I have to get that on out there, obviously. Well, um, I am created to fight this battle and to help lead you guys in this battle that's that's what I'm created to do and that is what I do do to the best of my ability that I and what I can't do of course I can't do anything except through Jesus so I do it Jesus's way right I follow Jesus but I do my effort to do everything I got to follow Jesus you understand that to the best of my ability am I perfect no but I sure do I'm a fighter that's what I'm trying to tell you so this spiritual warfare, the attacks come all the time. I mean, Satan is attacking me through my own people that I love and care about. Saying nasty words of hate, all kind of hate, trying to cut down me and my church and all that demonic devil stuff, y'all. But you know what? This is what we're here to do. This is what Jesus warned you about. As I told you earlier in the message today at two o'clock, Jesus told us to follow him, but are you prepared? Prepared, remember that was one of the steps we have to do. Prepared, don't come into this walk with Jesus thinking that it's going to be easy and just a beautiful walk and oh, it's always encouraging. I'll tell you what's encouraging about it is knowing our outcome. We don't have to wonder what our outcome, we know, we may not know everything we have to go through, but we know we got to go through a fight. We know it ain't fun, it ain't comfortable right now. But one thing we do know is we know the outcome. We know exactly how it's going to end. So yeah, we can, ha we can have joy through all this crap. You know, that, that's, that's, the, that's the hope. That's the promise of God. That's the hope. That's the beauty of it all. We might have to go through some stuff here, man. It ain't fun or horrible. But we know the outcome. We know what's at the end of the road up there. The beginning of the new road, man. We know that. So you fight harder. Because the devil's going to attack you people. I'm telling you. But you have God on your side. Don't you ever forget that, y'all. God is right there cheering you on. He said the whole host of heaven is cheering you on. Did you know that? But if you don't come to church and you don't keep yourself around your brothers and sisters in Christ like you're supposed to do, then you're going to feel like a failure and you probably will fail. I'll tell you that right now because you can't walk this walk by yourself. You, It's impossible. That's why God gives you commands. Forsake not assembling yourselves together. All the more so as you see the day approaching of the coming of the Lord because things are going to get really bad like they are now. Now we got that geomagnetic storm that me and Igor and Shanoa have been warning you guys about y'all. For four years, man. Will it knock the power out? I don't know. I know, as I told you for the past three years, God showed me darkness three times. He showed me fire in the sky three times. Don't know if it's connected, but it could be. So if the power goes out in a bunch of places, then we'll know this is what I saw. He did show me all these CMEs and fireballs shooting off the sun and up in the sky. These, the heavens and upward with fireballs and all that activity. Remember that? That's affecting all this stuff on the ground. It's affecting your atmosphere. It's affecting everything. So this is it. This is what he showed me. And y'all, you better get yourself together, y'all. Because 
We're going to see the king. We shall see the king. I don't know about you, but I'm going to see the king. I'm going to see the king when he comes. He's coming in power. I'm going to hail the blessed hour. I'm going to see the king when he comes. Are you going to see the king, y'all? Are you ready? Are you striving? Not struggling. Striving. Are you fighting? Are you fighting the good fight of faith? Are you keeping your faith? Are you doing the things Jesus told you to do? Or are you trying to do it your way? You did it your way. It never works that way. It never works that way. Never. So be encouraged. No matter what you have to go through, be encouraged. That's the word from God because you do know the outcome. If you know Jesus, you know the outcome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, you guys, we have the barn, which is our church tonight, Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's in about an hour from now. So we want to see you guys at church where Jesus guided you to follow him, y'all. These are not the days to not follow him. Tonight, bring your notebooks. We have spiritual gift inventory tonight. You need to take your exams. That room should be filled up with every one of y'all in Jesus' name. We do this every three months, okay? God bless you guys. You go to Jesus Doers. Listen to me, not we are. You go to JesusDoers.com. Scroll down till you see the big red barn. The link is there. Click that link and come on in. And we start, we, we log in from 8 to 8 30. Give everybody a chance to get in. You throw up your prayer requests when you come in. Go ahead and find the chat room and start typing your prayer requests right away. Because at 8 30, we turn the chats off. And then um, at 10 o'clock, it's over. Igor will give you world news. Stuff that we ain't going to fully talk about on YouTube because you know how this platform is. And then at 10 o'clock, it's pretty much over, and then we just stay on a fellowship. Now it's y'all's turn to talk, okay? And then tomorrow night, Saturday night, baby, bring your popcorn, okay? Because we're watching the live play on King David, and man, is it killer, y'all. It's better than a movie. It really is. Bring your family. Put your pajamas on at 8 o'clock. Plan to... Sit around uh, on your couch, man, with your family, a bowl of popcorn, some juice or something, man. Let's, let's go watch David. It's about two, two and a half hours long. It's really, really good. It's not your average play. It's better than a movie. All right, that's tomorrow night. And then Sunday, we have church at two again. So I'll see you all there, okay? You know this is where God brought you. I'll see you there. Thank those of you that's still sending in your first fruits. On uh, May 22nd, when... Shavuot comes, which is Feast of Weeks, um, Pentecost. That's when the second Passover is. For those of you that did not get a chance to obey God the first time, you can obey Him this time. Okay? I'm going to blow the shofar. I'm going to wait till that time frame. I'm going to blow the shofar over the new people that are still sending in their first fruits. I have two, two so far. Um, I'm going to blow the shofar over you and pray over you. Uh, with anointing oil, like Jesus told me to do, over your gifts, and uh, Jesus going to you going to get blessed. Like you're be like, my goodness, man, <laughs> this is the time when He gives you sevenfold blessings, baby. It's during His feast days for those that actually obey Him. All right, so you send it anyway in the description. All right, it's the best you got. God bless you guys. I'll see y'all tonight in Jesus' name. Make Him Lord of your life and follow Him. Amen.